Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here and welcome to the Canon Cinema EOS C200 and C200B video training series. We are at Canon's Burbank facility today. I am in the multi-purpose room, which we're using as a small stage. And in this video, we're gonna be covering the AF features of the camera system. I have over my shoulder here, Taylor and Christy. They are talent for the videos and we're gonna show off these features and I'm really excited because now we also have a touch screen in this camera that we can use with dual pixel CMOS AF. So let's get started. Let's jump right into it. If I go into the menu here and we're in the camera setup menu, fourth page, right now all of my AF features are grayed out. And the reason that they're grayed out is we are in manual focus on the 70 to 200 compact servo. So I'm gonna switch the lens to AF and now we can see our different AF options in the camera system. First thing we're gonna talk about are our AF modes. We have three of them. The first one is called One Shot AF. If I step out of the menu and I move my box with the joystick here over Taylor's face, on the front left of the camera, there's a button here for One Shot AF, and I'm gonna press that, and it's instantly going to give me autofocus on Taylor. If I move that box back over to Christie's face, I can press it again and it will get focus on Christie's face. If I go back into my menu system, because that AF frame is quite large, I can change it to a small AF frame size. And when I step out, you'll see that I have a much smaller box here. So I can be more precise in terms of my focus. I'm gonna put that over Taylor's left eye and one shot AF, boom, and then I have tack sharp focus. Back into the menu system here, we're gonna go over here to AF Boosted MF. Let me show you how this works. We're gonna throw the lens out of focus, and there you go, and we can see that AF box there. I'm gonna position it where I want it to be, and then I'm gonna to start to focus in on Taylor, and at a certain point, it's gonna see that I'm trying to focus. I can let go of the lens and it will finish focusing. So it's an autofocus boosted MF. So I'm starting to focus on a particular place in the frame and then it's finishing that for me. The last option I have in here is continuous AF. And that means that it's always going to be looking for AF based on where that box is. So I'm gonna move that over to Christy move it back over to Taylor, and you can see that it's continuously auto-focusing. Now there's some other things that we can do that are pretty interesting there. We can also change the AF speed. So how fast is that happening? I'm gonna slow that down to a minus seven now. When I move it over to Christy, we'll see that that focus change is a much more natural rack in terms of how fast that happens because I slowed down the response of that AF speed. Now we're gonna go over to the next menu inside of the camera setup. And what we can do now is we can turn on our face detection options. And if I step out of there and we take a look at that, it immediately is recognizing the two faces for Christy and for Taylor. And if I wanna switch between the two, all I have to do is use the joystick on the monitor unit, the back of the camera, or over here on the grip unit, or I can just go ahead and press on the screen. So we have that touch screen now, we might as well use it on the camera system. And you can see here that I am racking focus just by touching the screen on the C200. Back inside of here, right now we have our face AF set to face only, but we can set it to face priority. What does that mean? Well, it means that on face only, it's only gonna be looking for faces but when there are no faces in the frame, it will focus on other objects. So I'm gonna actually have, Taylor, you're gonna walk over there, Christy, you're gonna walk over there, so you're gonna walk out of frame, and we're still gonna have a focus box here. Let me just go ahead and focus that on this chart in the background, and you can see that it's focusing there. So Christy, I'm gonna go have, have you step into frame there, and as soon as Christy shows up, then our face detection shows up, now our AF speed is quite slow, so that rack is also quite slow. Christy, go ahead and step out of frame again one more time. I'm gonna go into that menu and change my AF speed. Let's go ahead and set that back to zero. And okay, Christy, I'm gonna have you walk back into your mark and look to camera and smile, and you'll see that that is a much faster rack 
between the two. I'd probably split the difference somewhere there, that minus seven and that zero, probably a minus three, minus four. But it gives you tremendous control in terms of how fast or how slow that AF speed comes into play. Now, the other thing that I'm gonna have happen right now is I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna change my AF response to a minus three. And what that means is how fast or how slow the AF is gonna kick in or latch onto other objects that are in the frame. If that response is set to a low number, a negative number, if something crosses the frame, it will tend to keep on the face that it is actually locked onto. So I'm actually, uh, Taylor, I'm gonna have you move up here out of frame, so just come up here. And that's great. And in here, I'm gonna change my AF response here to a minus three, which means that it's not gonna latch onto objects as quickly. So that's set up here. I am gonna go into my AF speed and I'm going to slow that down. I'm gonna set that to a negative five. And I am going to now have you cross camera. So go ahead and cross camera. And you're walking across camera and it's gonna keep focus there on Christy. Now, if I had increased that AF response, it will try to latch onto Taylor more quickly. But because we had lowered that, when she was crossing frame, we still kept focus on Christy. So the last thing that I wanna show you in terms of AF is something called subject tracking, which is a very, very cool feature. And in order to use it, we have to assign a button to it. So I'm gonna go over here and press the menu button and any one of the assignable buttons. In this case, I'll press menu and assignable button number eight. That's gonna give me a shortcut right here to assign that button to something. Right now, it is assigned to AF lock. I am going to go down here and assign it to tracking. So that's set up now to the tracking feature for the subject tracking. I'm gonna step out of the menu and let me just go ahead and roll camera here. And Christy is going to hold up in her right hand an apple and then we have in her left hand an orange. And I'm just gonna go ahead and press that assignable button right there and we get a tracker. So I'm gonna place that on the apple, press in to set and it will start to track that apple and Christy's gonna move that apple towards the camera and away from the camera, left and right a little bit, and then come back in, it's waiting for the object, it picks it up again, which is really cool. Press the set button in again, I'm gonna go ahead and just use the touch screen. It's now selecting the orange, move that closer to the screen, away from the screen there, move it to your right a little bit, and I lock right off of it, press on the apple again, move the apple around, and so you can see there that it works very, very effectively. So that's the subject tracking feature in the C200 and the C200B. Really, really powerful, especially now that we can use the touchscreen. Try all of these AF features out. I think you'll find as a one-man band and as a small crew that these features will help you tremendously inside of your productions. Thanks for watching.